<laughs> Looking back at when they first met, they couldn't escape, they couldn't forget. She said, baby, you're the one, you still turn me on. And then he made her whole again. Kerry Katona, in her own words, doesn't have the, ba the best track record when it comes to marriages, but all that changed when she met fitness guru Raya Mahoney back in 2018. And just a few days ago on holiday in Spain, Ryan got down on one knee and popped the question. Oh. <laughs> Are you mad? No, I'm mad, I'm pretty... Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. <laughs> Lucky, yeah? Good? <laughs> wow, I <Yeah>. love you. <laughs> I'm having myself. Oh then. my god. It's good, isn't it? Oh my god. Nice. It's really nice. Are you sure? <laughs> I've been thinking long enough, but yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, and here in their first that. interview together, it's Kerry and Ryan. Oh, hello, you two. It's yeah. so great to have you both with us. Congratulations, Woo. first of all. You kept asking, are you sure, Kerry? Well, he knows my track record. We all know my track record. <laughs> you know, I'm a divorce. <laughs> But it's wonderful news. And this is very different though, Kerry, because it's sort of been a long time coming. It's been over two years now, hasn't it? There's been a nice development of the relationship. Normally after two and a half years, I'm already got a baby. I'm engaged, I'm married and divorced all within two and a half years. This has been, this has been how it should be. This has been getting to know each other, then moving in and, you know, it, then getting engaged, then getting married. Nowhere do I want any more kids as of yet. Um, but I don't, before it's always been about a wedding. I don't want a wedding, I want a marriage. You know, Ryan's my partner, my life partner. This, this has been, this is, I feel this is how it should have been the first time and second and the third time around. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna shut up because I feel like I'm not gonna let Ryan get a word in. Go you on, won't. love. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was a long time coming for me, to be honest. It was, um, I think it was written on the cards. Um, I actually considered doing it when we was out in the Maldives earlier in the, in the year, which would have been quite fitting, but it was it was amazing out in Spain. Couldn't have gone better. So, yeah, I was really pleased with it. And obviously, I got the answer I wanted. So, <laughs> it all went well. Tell me everything, Kerry, because we've only seen little snippets. How did it start? And I think, Ryan, didn't you ask the kids first? Yeah, I spoke to all the kids first. I thought it was the best to do, the right thing to do. Um, and it was all, all excited, really. It was it was like everyone was on board. It was it was lovely in that respect. Um, I actually went to pick the ring with DJ and Heidi. Oh. I think Max was asleep at the time. Otherwise I can't believe me. DJ didn't tell me, you know. She did really, for a six-year-old, yeah. she did really, really well. Crafty, that one. I'll watch out for her. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan? No. Ryan? Yeah. Hiya. Hiya. Um, Hiya. So what if the kids had said, uh, no, I, I don't think so, what, then what? Would either of you, would you have still gone ahead with it or, or what? If it was a younger three, I would have like brainwashed them with like a McDonald's. <laughs> like Very that. honest. Um, the older two, harder work, but yeah, I don't know really. To be honest, I get along so well with them all, I kind of knew it was going to work, so... Yeah, it's just, it's happened how it should have been. And yeah, I'm really happy about it. Well, it sounds like it was a beautiful event. And um, Kerry, you was out there as well celebrating your 40th. Um, and you know, I did mine as well this year. Did yours get a little bit wild? Uh, well, the police turned up at the villa. <laughs> <laughs> just a, a typical Tuesday, really. Um, we, it was just me, Ryan, the children, um, and a few friends and, I was in bed by about nine o'clock, so I'm an early bird, but the music was so loud. We hired a DJ, we got a private chef in, and I think the music was so loud that they just came to turn, turn the music down. But it's a good job I didn't go to the gate, because I'd have thought there were strippers. Could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> a very, no, very different outcome. <laughs> Ryan, you don't really like being in the spotlight at all. You're a very sort of private, quiet person. So what does make the both of you tick? Uh, I suppose they say like opposites attract and I think in, in this example it's, it, it does, it works. We are very different. We have a lot of similar tastes with things, but we're very different. Um, I am a private person in general, but I mean, it's like 
appearances like this it doesn't it doesn't phase me or oh, i'm not objected to it it's a nice thing um but yeah it's it works so like so two two and a half years now so can i just say i'm finding it really hard not to talk <laughs> yeah <laughs> talk girl talk we know <laughs> Were you shocked, Kerry? Did you see? Did you sort of sense it coming, the engagement, or were you? Was it totally out of the blue? Yeah, I know. I sent him loads of pictures of the ring that I wanted. Ah, oh, so you yeah. sort of knew it was going to happen no. at some point. I've spoken we've about spoken, it. We spoke. The, the ring that she wanted is a different ring to what I've got, and this was like a good month or so before it happened. It was on the cards. Uh, she didn't know for sure it was going to happen out there, but it was. There was a lot of hints around it. I so. didn't know it was going to happen in Spain. We've spoken about mm. it and I've been teasing, going, right, if you do get me a ring, I want this one. You know, just putting it out there. And we have spoken about, you know, just going to Vegas and just getting married because mm. we're business partners as well. Uh, so we work together, we live together, and we just thought we, we, might, we, might, we might as well. This is how it's supposed to be. And, and yeah, I know I've been married a million one times and... I feel like I've waited my whole life to get to this point of where I am mentally as well as physically. Um, we all know my ups and my downs, and I, I, I want a happy ever after. I want that happy ending, and I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it the right way this time. And again, like I said, I don't want a big wedding. I want a marriage. I want, I mm. want to grow with somebody. I want to work alongside somebody. I have my path, and Ryan has his path, and we do it separately, but. Yeah come together and that's how it should be you know what <clears throat> Kerry you keep saying the right way around but you deserve to be happy no matter what happened in your past mm. or how you did things before it doesn't mean that you don't deserve to then have happiness yeah. later on so no one percent I completely agree and that's one thing I've had to learn about myself as well as that the past is the past and just because I've been married and I've been divorced and I've got five kids and they've got three different dads doesn't mean I don't deserve to be happy. Doesn't mean why can't I not do it again and and try and find love and happiness and and that's what I'm doing and I'm really happy and I'm in love and look at him, he's all right. Isn't he all right? Yeah. He's all right, girl. He's all right. <laughs> very, very happy for you both, Ryan. And honestly, you did. I think you did it such a brilliant way, having all of the children involved. I think that's such a lovely thing from a stepdad perspective. We've got a little yeah. present for you both. Your doorbell's going as well today. We've been busy with this one. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it's not pizza. It should be a nice big bunch of flowers just to say congratulations and to send our love. It's so nice. Look at this. There you oh. go. That's it. Oh, that's good. That's Wonderful. <laughs> when Carol's actually here, the card actually says, Carol, do you remember this saying? I'm only 22, not anymore. <laughs> Happy 40th. Congrats on the engagement, Kev, of loose women. Oh, that was my yeah, love. You. you were. Yeah, I miss you, Kerry. <laughs> You too, my darling. You look amazing. You all look amazing. Thank you so much, Kerry, Ryan. We'll talk to you very soon about the wedding, no doubt. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon. Thank you. But just Bye. before you go, actually, funny enough, we are going to be discussing after the break, could your relationship survive without any nookie? Have a little discussion about that. What do you think, Ryan? No. There you go. <laughs> That's all we